you're, you will need these items for your project. You will need a cup to hold water to rinse out your paintbrushes thoroughly. You will need an acrylic base paint. Fabric holds better with acrylic paints. You will need a, any kind of palette to put your paint onto as you paint. Um, I use saucers because it rinses off easily and doesn't stain. Also use a chalk based pencil. That way it goes on as a transfer and it doesn't stay on. You can wash it off later. You need um, at least two different types of paintbrushes. One skinny and one thick. One, the skinny one is for detail and the thick one is for filler of bigger items. Uh, a old rag will do for to wipe off your paintbrushes and stuff. Just as long as you use an old rag, that way it doesn't stain a good rag. Um, and then you need a cardboard of any kind as long as it goes inside of the t-shirt so it doesn't bleed the paint through to the other side. You will need a t-shirt of whatever color. It doesn't matter what kind it is. It's your choice. Now, you will also need a uh, trace paper in order to get the drawing that you want. One side is for the pencil side and the other side will be for the chalk. This is how the cardboard will go inside the t-shirt. This is what it will look like after it's done. And these are my drawings. This is the uh, pencil side. I also do the chalk side on the other side. This is the chalk side. I have it on my shirt getting ready to transfer my drawing over to the t-shirt. And this is how I do it. I lay it flat. I hold it down with my hand. That way I have one loose hand. There's my chalk side. It's against the fabric. I take my chalk pencil, any kind of thing that you can rub on will do just fine. But I use my chalk pencil. And I use it to rub softly. And it will transfer. And there's my transfer of the main item that I want to draw onto the fabric. Now this is sped up because it takes a while to do but this is where I'll be doing my uh, details. All the little details from the drawing that I want to have on my t-shirt. Now this says the wording. It says no cupcakes because it's Gru or Gur, whatever it is for my daughter. And I'm doing the details for the words. I'm writing those out. Every once in a while I will I lick the tip of my pencil because it's just chalk to me. It's no big deal. If it was lead I wouldn't. If you don't want to do that, you can keep a rag to the side and touch the rag every once in a while when it doesn't want to write on the fabric. And it will often do that to you. I'm doing smaller detail at the bottom of the shirt where the drawing is. Now this is what it looks like once I'm done. This is my paint. I'm getting ready to paint the green part of the guru or gur, whatever it is. See, there's the green. I did his tongue, his eyes, and his nose, and his uh, skin. And then here is where I did the explanation point looking things above his head for the wording. And what you see is mostly uh, chalk done. Okay, the no is actually painted, and so is the cupcake. I've already drawn the cupcake, and I've done his eyes, and the rest of his body parts. I did his arms and his ears and everything. You just can't see them because they're black. I had to outline them. And this next drawing is the result I got from the drawing. And it, it's very detailed in certain places and in certain places it's not. Um, depending on your drawing, detail means a lot. And with cartoons, to me, it is not as much detail, so it's not as much that you need to worry about. Well, I hope you enjoyed